Let's find out what happened last time Previously, on Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secret she keeps. What secrets? All the secrets. Why did you fire? What do you mean? Oh, he'd be whispering oh, stuff. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Oh yeah, we found that giant magnetic door that just pushed open. <laughs> That's where we left off. We just pushed a big giant door open. Um when all the other doors, all the little doors were locked, but that big one, it's almost like the bad guys were like, no, we're going to leave it unlocked. Who the hell would come in here and, and be face to face with monsters? Um, some like dining, you know, like some, some waiter or something like stumbles down there. He's like, well, there's a secret lab on this boat. Um, episode nine, no exit. Let's get it going. Uh, it was a bit from Lewis Black, one of his HBO shows. Oh, the water thing. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, Lewis Black's so funny. Oh, these guys are still at it, man. 2.50 a.m. You know it's cold out there. Oh, yeah, dude, well, look at him. Well, well. That's me over there, just... Whoa, that's amazing. These goofballs, man. What the? He's got two different BSAA patches on him. That's interesting. So what the hell did you do? He's got like six. He's well, no. There's a third BSAA patch. I wonder. Yeah, uh, these guys didn't interest me. I mean, they're kind of throwaway characters in a way, but they. I think they add something to the story. They're, I mean, they add some levity, which is great. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. <laughs> of course, this guy's like an autocon type. He's like a nerdy dude who is like to the trying the to solve some hey, big conspiracy. Got you back up, fam. All right. Welcome, John. Oh, then did John miss it? Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing? Um, John, did you miss when I when I asked it what everyone was drinking? I think you did. It still counts because you were here. You commented first. You said something about pizza, and then I said, "How are you gonna wash that down? What you drinking?" <laughs> I was wondering. I was waiting for the salt from you, John. Need more intel. All right, guys, checking his facts. Should have been a journalist, dude. It's so goofy. <laughs> These guys are so goofy. All right, let's find that computer. There's an area we haven't explored over here. My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. Whoa, that would be tits. This guy. <laughs> you mother! <laughs> There's that salt. Oh, well played. Yep. Yeah, you must have been refreshing or something. Uh, but I saw a comment in the chat, so I gotta count it. I gotta count it. <laughs> All right. So I guess all the stuff we scanned before. Did we play as the other guy last time? Oh! I only got seven bullets, man. We gotta find some bullets. We got other weapons? Yeah, we does. Shoddy, shoddy. Yeah, I glitched and forgot to refresh. A fair victory, you son of a... <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
We got that handprint, right? That was here last time. Ooh, locker. Wait, we read, uh, we read this, right? Yeah. Oh, grenades. Yes, please. That's true. Why did they stop? Oh, they stopped here because they found that key card and they were like, oh, or that, that jump drive. They're like, oh, we'll go use it on the computer. Because I was like, why would they stop? There's an extra area to investigate. Oh, this looks like a giant warehouse where a boss fight might happen. Oh, there's rocket launchers everywhere. Yep. There's got to be stuff to scan. Green herb, okay. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Where is that? Oh, we got... Okay. We'll keep the submachine gun. I don't think I want to whip out a sniper rifle in this room. You take the gadgets like a flight of horse shit. It's just a computer. Okay, down to brass tacks. What the hell? Nothing's happening. What did you do, Quinn? It's not me. I need more power. The MB-28's a real gas guzzler. There's got to be a generator around here. I need it. There's okay. a couple, dude. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Start up a go. generator. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. Hey. There's not enough power to fully charge the MP28. Are there any other generators? Of course there are. It's Resident Evil. So we're cool, right? Sees rocket launchers everywhere. So we're cool, right? John Lee says. <laughs> All right, Everything's cool, right, game? What's up so there? You get anything? A magnum. Oh, great. You know. Whoa. I'm on it. Leave these guys to me. Chill here. I'm telling the truth here. You gotta get the time to get the whole intro up. Oh, there's hunters. Crap. Just gotta stand near this uh magnum so when I run out of shotgun shells. Oh jeez. Which I will do quickly if I keep missing. Oh great. Oh, you frickin' ugly dog. Shoot. Oh, what? Who did that? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Blows. Wait here. I'll go fix it. All right, all right. We got it, we got it. Quinn, did that do it? You good now? Yeah, all good. Thanks. I like this corner. It's one of my favorites. All right. We're fifty-four percent. Fifty-four. We're in it to win it now. 
I feel like the invisible ones are going to come in now, right? Oh, whoa, what? Okay. Oops. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy, Seek. Eighty percent. Sweet. What's that over there? Ooh. This reload is taking a while. Made it. It's done. 100%, baby. Finally. That's it. Okay, I think it's safe to have a look at this data now. Ready? Hold your horses. I'll be there in a sec. Yeah, I kind of want to make sure I got make sure I'm fully healed and got a rocket launcher just in case. Whew, that was tough. What was a little backpack. Explains it. Explains what? Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. MVP on Let's Battlefront 2 Beta. Nice X Force. Achievement unlocked. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. Uh oh. Twist! Orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. I was wondering, I mean, like I said, I couldn't remember the full twist of this game, but. Yeah, you pretty much got it. The, the theatrics of. You for nothing. Raymond. Um, was interesting. Like the, the level he was going to is very Let theatrical, so. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. But he knows O'Brien's involved, but I guess... Uh-oh. Oh, we've been detected! Ooh. So he knows O'Brien's involved, but I guess O'Brien... Maybe he thinks O'Brien has good reasons. So... Because he's still willing to send him information. Come on, come on, come on! Oh! Ooh. Dang, they only got 20% of the data out. Dang! What a disaster. I want to miss those two idiots. Oh. Uh, yes, x Forest. Uh, I was the only one using the ion cannon to take out the transport. No one else seemed to understand the concept. <laughs> nice. Um, John says, Quint, get your Zach Braff sanding ass somewhere you can survive. <laughs> he does sound a little Zach Braffish. <laughs> Good call. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, those bombs, man. Holy cow. I don't know if there was a place to get safe. That's the virus. Hmm. Chris and Jill back together. So this ship is just housing 
this look at all that liquid it's like how is this how's this room not been I guess they built it like a fortress but how has this room not been infiltrated yet I know the control system must be in the lab Chris guess. Oh, sweet. Well, that's cool. Oh, now it won't open. You're a jerk game. Maybe we'll, maybe that'll come in handy later that we did that. Lasers. Ugh. But with Resident Evil and laser hallways. because Jill needs some ammo, dude. Don't need any herbage, though. Yes, more machine gun bullets. It's over here. A map? A file? Completion of new type virus. The T abyss virus contains genetic material from both the abyss and the T virus. In and of itself, it is not much of a threat, but it has allowed us to lay the groundwork for the study of weaponized marine viruses. I fear, however, that my name will someday be known for assisting with the production of the world's most terrible weapon. Oh, finally, someone with a conscience. If I concentrate a liquid form, if a concentrated liquid form of the virus were to be released in a large enough area of the sea, our our data indicate that it would contaminate all of the world's oceans in a very short time, starting with bacteria at the point of contamination and then cause a chain reaction that would Im impact all forms of sea life. Why, though? Like, why? Why destroy the entire ocean and all the creatures in it? Once the T abyss virus contaminates an area of the sea, it will cause mutations at the genetic level to all life forms in the area. It would be impossible to predict the severe ecological impact on humanity. I have doubts as to whether the research I'm doing here is actually to prevent bioterrorism, to bioterrorism and biohazard outbreaks. Oh, so maybe they were told, hey, you're, you're working on a virus that maybe one of our enemies is working on, so we need a vaccine for it. And maybe that's just all smoke and mirrors just to get them to further develop the virus um that wouldn't that that's actually pretty interesting i don't know if i read that correctly if that's or if i'm if i misunderstand that but how cool of a concept would that be is that that is umbrella unsure if they could find a bunch of heartless scientists told scientists hey you, you're gonna work on a virus that our enemies are creating but you're gonna study it to improve it and then keep creating vaccines for it. And so that umbrella always has the deadliest strain of the virus and they're creating it by lying to the doctors telling them that they're developing a vaccine. That would be pretty evil. Uh, Malakota development materials. The development of codename Malakota happened by pure chance. We were infecting various species of fish with the T abyss virus as part of our research into marine based by uh, BOWs. By chance, one of the test subjects was contaminated with parasites. The parasite is uh, Gyrodactylus uh, solaris, a small um, monogenian ectoparasite. When T abyss is used to infect the host, it not only affects the host, but the parasite as well. The unique mutations formed by the dual infections have allowed us to improve our overall BOW development. A large Malakota is only about one, one centimeter in length. Because it is so small, it can be used as a parasite to infect the host by secreting a liquid that contains the virus. The parasite mutates inside the host and matures rapidly. Perhaps this center logistic effect of the T abyss and the secretion causes an increase to the metabolism of the organism. The size to which the Malakota can develop is contingent upon the contingent upon the size of the host. Uh, while clinical tests have yet to be carried out, if a whale were to be used as the host, there's no limit to the size of Malakota could assume. Whoa, so this tiny little one centimeter sea life parasite has the virus injected in it. They put it in you then it's able to secrete it in a liquid form, which it needs to, to uh, to enact the proper mutation or the proper infection. 
and then it, and then the malacoda mutates with you. And if 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 a whale is infected, it becomes the size of a whale. Like the the parasite grows inside of it. Holy disgusting shit! That is nasty. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, and would be legit evil, making people do good to do evil shit without even knowing. I'm telling you, man, that seems like Umbrella's mo right there. And print. I was wondering if we're gonna see any more of those. Man, more journals. Veltro's Agent's Journal number two. Oh, sweet. We, because we read the first one like two episodes ago. 2004, mission elapsed time, two days. The mission was a success. Terra Grigia is now full-blown hell on Earth. We unleashed the ultimate virus to rend the city with terror and violence. The FBC sent its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. You know, I was thinking about this too, like with the Vegas shooting that happened recently. Like, because we sit there in, the, in these episodes and we go like, oh my God, like what kind of monster? Like, what's the point of Umbrella? Like, why would you terrorize like destroy the city of the future that's trying to develop new sources of energy and, and resources and it's like a joint between two countries working together on it and it's like a, a peaceful progression why would you come in and destroy it and it's like yeah but then why would some psychopath with a, a bunch of guns go and shoot at a bunch of people at a concert who are just trying to have fun so it's like you so i guess you just can't explain evil right like it just it just is i guess so yeah, I was thinking about that last night when I after we finished playing this, I was like, I was thinking about that kind of. I know it's not the same, obviously, but uh, you know, just that mentality, I guess. Uh, we have achieved our goal. The world will uh, know that they do not have to wait for hell. It's already here. Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. Bernard Cordy, that dude is psycho. Um, I hope we never meet Bernard Cordy because I want to shoot him in the face. Mission elapsed time five plus days. The ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters, and these monsters turn everyone else into monsters. Why is this happening? We were going to bring hell to the masses, not have hell brought to us. The same thing is happening at the uh, Simar Simaramis. Uh, Samaramis, that's what it was. Samaramis. Uh, the virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot be coincidence. Someone was using us all along. Look at that. But who? None of us would ever betray Veltro. The only one who would do this is our mysterious financier. He's the only one who's not here. Norman, we need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. The rest of the paper is missing. Norman, yeah, that's the second or third time that guy's brought up Norman. Um, oh, crazy. Wow, so evil betrayed them. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks for them. Oh, jeez. Please don't. Oh, please don't come out. Can I scan you? Oh. Whoa, whoa, I have the wrong gun out. says there's something else to scan in here. Oh, there it is. Illegal parts! Yay! Um, hey, let's not put Malakota in a whale, though. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I don't control where, Mal where they sent Malakota, but if they, if they infect all the ocean, then yeah, eventually it's gonna run into a whale. Does it work? Sweep the lab, see what I can find. Good. I need some time to figure out these controls. Oh, good, we have this. Man. All right, so we have the Magnum, which has nothing on it. Oops, reload speed by 40%. That would be nice. Let's, uh... Let's extend the magazine for that. And then let's put the, uh... Damage 3 on that. Oh, man, yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, the only thing about this game is I tend to stick to, um, like, the same three or four guns over and over and over. Like, I, I don't really change it up too much, which I know is kind of boring, but really, this game, it's not one of those games where it matters, um, where it's like, oh, this handgun is di di that different than this handgun. It's, um, will do. You can count on it. It's, it's, I mean, they fire the same, they do the same, they just do different amounts of damage. It's like the only real difference. And they slightly look different, but in, in the character's hands, you can't really tell that much. Oh, jeez. I remember this part. I think I saw Where's Barry or someone do this, and they weren't, like, using the scanner to see the lasers at first. Um, which, yeah, you, typically you wouldn't go right to that, but, uh... I guess because of this game uh, being what it is, like, you know, I got so used to scanning everything that it was just like, I, I wouldn't go into a room unless, uh, without, like, pulling the visor up. Alright, so yeah. Just to get this little secret thing, you have to, you have to, like, reroute all the, all the lasers. Oh, we still can't get it. Dang. He's got a virus in his hands. Anyway. Look. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Oh, that's those things outside that we shot when we were playing as Chris. Great. I hate those things. Those uh, those big guys with the shields. Oh, wa whale Lakota! <laughs> nice job. Ooh, that's right in the kisser. Oh shoot! Ooh. Yeah, that one's that one was a little harder to kill. Got him. Right before he died. Sweet. Oof. I'm glad we were able to take him down with the handgun too, because uh, I just didn't want to use up too much of my other ammo. Whale Lakota, that's a good one. Sweet. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you're in a room full of cameras. Is that it? Just that? Wow. Oh, 
This device is used for inoculations. I can copy the passcode here, but I need an employee number first. Oh yeah, we, so now we gotta go all the way back and uh, get that stupid card that guy dropped. Oh, please don't fill up with water. I don't need that right now. Especially since that water is contaminated. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll get inoculated in time before that thing smashes through. Here's the worst part about this thing is I think if you go through this maze, I think the laser grids shut off. Like if you, once you pick this up, I can't remember. Infection log for Queen Zenobia researcher, Ryan, ID 503321. 2004, after the final note was played in the tragedy known as the Terragrigia Panic, we seized the ship and began to carry out our mission quickly and secretly. So that's when they took over these ships, huh? After Terragrigia, the, the Regia Solis destroyed the city. Now the ship is the only place where we can observe the spread and mutation of the T Abyss along with ancillary research. This is the perfect environment to conduct research and we must take, and we must make the most of it. Um, Echo, oh, Echo's doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, he's sleeping right now, though. The only setback is a host infected with the T abyss virus. This will make research very difficult for us. It will not last long as a place of research and science before the entire place is overwhelmed with creatures. We must act quickly. 2005, our research on the virus has proceeded rather smoothly, and we were able to develop a proper vaccine. With all our goals accomplished, there is no longer any need for this ship. We have decided to abandon it. A few members of our team did not survive long enough to see this moment, but that is the cost of doing research. When we told Lansdale about our breakthrough with the vaccine, Morgan Lansdale, he showed uncharacteristic felicity. There's something scribbled in after an area where the pages are torn out. As soon as the research data was sent, the doors to the facility were shut and the BOWs awakened from their cryogenic sleep. I don't understand how I could have missed seeing that Veltro wasn't the only disposable pawn in all of this. Almost funny, really. I see now that it was he who arranged for all of these things to come to pass. He gave the terrorists the T abyss virus, which led to the Terragrigia panic. That gave us lots of valuable data on infection, which led to the eventual development of the vaccine. And thanks to his position of authority, he used the Regia Solis to eradicate the virus, the terrorists, and all the fools in that city. Any traces or links to us vanished with it. The end result, however, is that the world is now afraid of the virus, and the FBC's charter has been strengthened and expanded. I am all struck with the degree of perfection with which Lansdale orchestrated all these events. This is one for the history books to be sure. Hopefully the demand for this vaccine will bring the rest of us the accolades and riches we so justly deserve. The rest of the scribble is illegible. Wow. So not only were they... Chris, you're not going to believe what I just learned. Were they played... Morgan Lansdale of the FBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. Um, Seems but like it. All I have is circumstantial evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. So he, so Morgan Lansdale of the FBC created this problem so that the FBC would expand. He would get more money for, you know, soldiers, get expand his corporation, export, expand the FBC, get more power, got control of the Regis Solis, and then created a disaster then use the Regis Solis to wipe out that disaster, which covered up all the evidence that would that would remove his link to the second phases or third phase or whatever of his plan, which is these two boats experimenting with the virus, working on vaccines. It's like, holy crap, dude, this guy, he's lucky it all went to, to plan. <laughs> holy shit. Sometimes I plan to tie my shoe and, and that goes wrong. This guy is like... <laughs> Everything's just coming up millhouse for this guy. Download complete. Vaccine has been injected. All right, so we're clean. Authentication code. All right. Get back to Chris. Oh, uh oh. Oh, vaccinated just in time because now we're surrounded with infected water. I'm trying. How high do the lasers go? All right, good. I'm 
go out this way? Sweet. There's got to be something down here, right? We'll dive again in a second. Yeah, for now. It's got to be something. You know how we are with video games. If if there's an area that looks like you don't really need to go to it, chances are there's something hidden down there. But uh, maybe not. I was thinking there was going to be like some kind of gun parts or something, but nothing, I guess. Dang. I got the passcode. Good work. Well, let's neutralize that virus. Yeah. Authorization confirmed. Initiating virus neutralization program. Well done, BSAA. Your activities hmm. have been eye-opening. So who, if Morgan Lansdale's kind of behind this and O'Brien maybe has some connections to it or or at least maybe knew of the plan um, who's the old guy who's the one that took the Veltro mask off and like so it was you you attacked Terry Grisha. yeah like who is that oh shoot We just leave. Jill, I need you in this fight. Oh, okay. I guess not. Shoot. Seven bullets left. We gotta go to the hard stuff. Oh crap. Two of them. Shoot. Two birds, B word. Dang it, you jerks. Whoa, what the? The music, I know the music was good. The music in this is really good. There's, they did a lot for this game. Like I think Capcom was really proud of this game because not only did they, I think, release a soundtrack for it, um, I think, but they also did like a, um, they also did 
like a great art book, like the art of Resident Evil Revelations. I like that line where he says, the days of cops and robbers are long gone. You're in over your heads. It's like, so it shows that he knows their background. He knows that they worked with like local police in Resident Evil 1 as like a special forces team. Yourselves. Have a look. Your destiny is in my hands. What the? The Queen Zenobia. Uh, yeah. You think you'd fall for that drone trick? No. Find out what happens next time on Resident Evil Revelations. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the future. Peace.